we have entered a new era of poker solvers. You can be an early adopter and leverage these new AI technologies to really drastically improve your game much faster, improve your workflow and maybe even catch up to the high stakes guys. Or you can not do that and get left behind. To give you some context into why I'm saying this, I play high stakes cash games online and I have over 8,000 hours in solvers. I know that sounds crazy, I have been using them since day one. A few weeks ago, the new GTO Wizard AI solver was announced and while most people were panicking about the potential of cheating, uh, I actually got intrigued and I tried it extensively over these past few weeks to study, not to cheat. I worked on spots with it, I used it for coachings, I practiced drills in their platform. So in this video I want to give you my thoughts on the massive impact I think this will have and how its features can help you make more money at the tables. First of all, I love solvers. It's the main way I've been improving my game for the past 8 years probably and I know both the good and the bad with them so let's look at some challenges with, we face with current solvers. Like every respectable pro, I spent like 4k to build a powerful PC to run sims, a few more k to rent servers and solve like pre-flop multi-way spots. I have like many many terabytes of pre-solved sims, many of which have become out outdated. But this is what you need to do if you want to stay ahead. And yeah, that's a lot of money, time and effort invested. Now let's talk about workflow. Because when you are studying with solvers, you should be trying, mainly trying to do one of, of two things. One is construct optimal strategies. The second thing is to explore sims to understand poker principles. So that usually means uh, seeing how changing one variable like a flop card can change the other variables like seabed frequency. But the workflow can get slow, solving a post-flop sim can take like 10 min minutes or more depending on the game tree and your PC. This is not the best way of improving but I guess you get used to it. As poker is a competitive game, if you want to catch up to people playing higher stakes, one thing you need is like more speed in your study and improvement. And this is one of the big things AI solvers bring, speed. Allow me to demonstrate. Let's quickly construct an optimal C betting strategy, compare and like compare the workflows with PyoSolver and it's like GTO Wizard AI Solver. Let's say we want to find the optimal C bet sizing in a spot, button, big blind, single raised pot, queen 8, 6, rainbow. Okay, so producing here in PyoSolver, I uh, set up the board, we have like four sizings here, that's usually what I like to do in these spots. Let's just build and solve. Okay, I stopped it. I went to get a burrito in the meantime. So <laughs> we have like 682 seconds here. I did do this before as well and it was 468. So I will we'll say like 8 minutes. It took 8 minutes to be fair. And let's look at the solution for a bit. Uh, so we see it's actually still mixing. So now I would have to solve with just one sizing. So we're gonna resolve. We will do half pot only for imposition. Let's change the sim, kind of hard to do with one hand, with burrito and the other. So now we found the optimal sizing and we rerun the sim with one sizing. This is how would, you would normally do it. And I'll do that while I finish this burrito. Okay, the burrito and the sim are both finished. So let's see, we have here like 200 solving time, like what, like 3 minutes, 20 seconds. I'll just be optimistic and say this whole thing took me like 10 minutes because when nothing else was open on me on my on my PC, I <laughs> see it because of the burrito. We had 10 minutes with these two sims. Okay, now just open the GTO Wizard solver. Let's load our solution. Just loading uh, loading up the spot. Okay, create solution. We select the board that was what well, like queen, eight diamonds, six of hearts, and that's it. <laughs> And that's it. So like it's well, like two two seconds maybe. So now we have the the solution. This is pretty big. It took two three seconds to take the board, solve it uh, with multiple sizings, and resolve it with one optimal sizing and give it to me. So this is two hundred times faster than our previous Pio workflow, which is a huge, huge deal. It may not look like much now, but compound this over multiple months 
and you are improving exponentially faster than someone just using normal solvers to like get their solutions. Oh, and by the way, this whole optimal automatically choosing the optimal bed sizing for each street thing. I dreamed about this feature since like quite a few years. Like why can't just someone just make this? It would be amazing for the game. Uh, it's very useful for studying and practicing drills. From what I know among the other AI solvers, GTO Wizard is the only one who brings this specific feature, which I believe gives them a big edge. As we mentioned earlier, another big thing you should do while studying is exploration. I love to explore sims and like changing things around because I like practical examples and practical benefits for you guys. Uh, let's actually jump in a scenario I actually had the other day with a student. We were talking about the heavy impact the board can have in a MP versus button spot, single race spot. MP button, okay. Create solution. Easy, fast. And the board was kind of crazy how how this moves. King, queen, then of clubs. Okay, we already have the solution. And again, this workflow is, is like very, very different to, than, uh, than classic stuff. So we see here 73%. A lot of c-betting going on you can it's easy to think like hey this is a three broadway board three broadway boards we just c-bet a ton and i said hey let's just change quickly change the queen again exploring right it's like saying how do we change if i change a queen to a jack let's see how that changes the solution there you go so we went from a solution that we are almost betting range to a solution where we are checking range. We experimented with a ton of different boards, just take them one by one, changing the ranges to understand like range versus range interaction, uh, some principles that govern this like huge changes in strategy. And as I'm changing all of these boards, just changing one card at a time, I don't have all of these solutions pre-solved. So it would have been pretty annoying for both me and the student to just like solve, 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 and wait for the solutions in Pio. I do this quite a bit in my study and uh, especially coaching because changing up the game tree, uh, changing variables like ranges, board, sizings, advances your understandings quite significantly. And this is something I found to be like very easy and intuitive with the GTO wizard interface. I would say it's better than Pio in terms of like chopping things around and like again, exploring different branches, different sizings. And as everything is so fast to get immersed in the learning process, much easier. The third big feature is the learning interface because all of these like powerful features uh, wouldn't be that effective without a good user interface to make sense of all the information. This, all these features, you have the ranges comparing and like buckets here, uh, the breakdowns uh, and like hand summary filters. I use these visualization stuff quite a lot in my coachings and just when I explore by myself yeah again i think this is easier to understand than pio solver with cloud computing and ai technology we are entering an era of great accessibility now because i don't need to find a way to stay connected to my pc while traveling i can solve new spots in seconds like straight from my laptop and actually i don't need all the powerful hardware anymore uh, I can still use that to play games, I guess, but I don't need thousands of pre-solved sims and a huge disk space. I can access any spot within a few seconds. And I know all this brings concerns around like real-time assistance, but I already made a video on that you can find here and I'll probably put it in the description as well. And I've also seen some new updates from GTO Wizard to show things are heading in the right direction. All right, so personally, after playing around with this like GTO Wizard AI solver for the past few weeks, I'm very, very excited about the potential. I think most people, most regs, most people don't see it yet. A new era of speed and accessibility just started. My workflow and improvement curve just got a huge boost. And still, this is not a magic pill that solves everything. If you don't have a solid understanding of how poker works and what to look for when studying these sims, you still have to address these things. And I would say the fastest way is to learn from people better than you because at the end of the day poker is highly competitive and every edge we can get counts the specific purpose of this video was to open your eyes to like how you can leverage these new technologies to improve much faster and stay ahead of the other regs now if you want a more practical guide on how i use some of the special features of the gto wizard ai solver let me know in the comments below and i will make one 
if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to get a personalized improvement roadmap just for you to your needs and frameworks on how to use these tools to build strategies, I'll drop a coaching link in the description. And that is all for today. I hope you also see the opportunity we have here and really leverage this to stay ahead, get ahead with your game, make more money at poker. That's what it's about. If you want more videos like this, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you want a more advanced guide. But that's pretty much it from me, Daniel Show of Force. I will see you guys in Barcelona, maybe. I will be at the EPT starting with the 24th of August. If you want to came, come say hi at the casino, just let me know. Join the Discord below. Have a great week. Good luck at the tables. Signing off here with the, with the Mixed Feelings shirt. Really love it. This has been Daniel, show of force. Peace. Yeah, it's the pokers. I play it every day. Got the sturdiest chip stacks from tourneys to six max. Hate us for nothing. Straight flush of bluffing. Please believe I'll be caking and crushing. Yeah, it's the pokers. I play it every day. Got the sturdiest chip stacks from tourneys to six max.